Now we will create a new folder to store uh, rack node 1 virtual machine. So we will call it as a rack 1 folder. This is under C colon VMs slash rack 1. We will create a new virtual machine which will be used as a rack 1 node. We will select custom options. Default options are good enough. Now we will choose an ISO file which is our Linux release 5 update 6 DVD image. We will select it as a Linux, Oracle Enterprise Linux. We will call it as a Rack 1 virtual machine. Now we will use two CPU single core. I will change this to single core and we will allocate two gigabytes of RAM for this virtual machine. We will use bridge networking for Ethernet, LSI logic is good enough. We will create a new virtual disk to store the operating system. SCSI type is ok. We will create a 40 GB virtual disk and store it as a single file. We will provide the proper path to store the virtual disk. Once the virtual machine is created, we will edit the virtual machine settings. First thing we will do is remove the floppy disk. We do not need the sound card and we will also remove the printer. We need a, a second network adapter, one for private and one for public. So we will add a bridge networking Ethernet and go to the options. We will also enable the shared folders option which will allow us to share a folder between the host operating system and the virtual machine. I have created a shared folder under VMs on the host. Clicking OK, we are done with creating the virtual machine. Next step is we will install Oracle Linux on this.